Hey YouTube, so one of the reasons why I've had some difficulties with my video posts lately is because I had a failure of my network attached storage unit and I've been in the process of recovering all the data off of it um, to new drives and a new better branded uh, NAS unit. But why I'm making this video? So I was planning on and finally made the uh, purchase on a LTO5 linear tape open 5 um, tape drive with uh, a bunch of tapes. This is to store archive video footage for 30 years without any problems. And I run into an interesting problem where I could not get some of the tapes to format. It actually ended up about 50% of the tapes that I purchased, new, sealed, would not format. Um, some of the prerequisites installed were things such as um, the uh, the HP drivers for the uh, SAS cards, serial attached SCSI, uh, the um, the tape drive itself. Um, this is specifically for formatting tapes in LTFS or linear tape file system. Um, and it really, it's a strange occurrence that I figured I would document in case someone else has the same problem. So I've just loaded a tape which I know to suffer this infinite non-formatting loop. Uh, so I'm gonna go and format this now. And I'm just gonna put the uh, tape serial number from the front label. So when I click next and then I start, it's not going to work. And it will make this perpetual back and forth whirring noise as if a cleaning tape was loaded, for whatever reason. And I'll put an overlay of that in. Effectively, this tape will not format. It's just going to keep failing and failing and failing. But there is an easy workaround. All right, so now that you have heard what that sounds like, um, first off, I'm gonna have to kill this operation and it's gonna take some time to properly kill. So. I'm just going to kill this now, we'll come back in a minute when this is done. Okay, so we're back. Um, what we're going to do now is the actual workaround. I'm going to exit the LTFS configurator and I'm going to open up the library and tape tools application. And we're just going to do a quick hardware scan to connect to our drive. And it is as simple as going to the test page, queuing up a read-write test, and whatever this test does, it overwrites the beginning of the tape. And sometimes it seems like, at least this package of tapes that I ordered, something about the tapes causes it to fail the LTFS format. And this only takes a minute. I'm not going to cut the video now. I'm just going to keep talking um, as it runs the quick write read test. Um, I ordered two packs of five tapes, so a total of 10 new HP branded uh, 7975A tapes, I believe. Yeah. Um, so these are read write tapes and brand new, factory sealed, no problems with them other than the fact that some of them would not format. So it's, it's now doing the uh, read test, it's written the data to the tape. It won't take long. And I, I genuinely want to just run this uncut, so unfortunately you're just going to have to listen to me filling dead air here, but genuinely I struggled for hours and hours and hours trying to figure out how the heck can I get these tapes to format in LTFS because there was no problem with half the tapes and then the other half of them are just dead or something. Um, and all it is is I guess there's something in the leader of the tape that needs to get overwritten. Though knowing demo syndrome when I actually go to try and format this is going to fail in front of the camera. Murphy's Law, right? All right, test completed successfully. I don't care to read the details. We're gonna go right back into LTFS configurator. And, 
Okay, I don't know if Streamlabs... Okay, alright, he's back. Uh, so, all I'm going to do now is go format. And... 4192. Next, next. And there we go, it's formatting. You should see part of the progress bar fill up literally within the first second or two of running uh, make LTFS, MKLTFS is the actual command line command. Yeah, and, and there it goes. It's going to finish the uh, tape format, and then in a moment we'll be able to actually mount it to uh, Windows operating system. I'm running Windows 10. I'm, I'm using the latest firmware. So I guess one of the things with LTO tape drives is always, always, always update the serial attached SCSI card to the latest firmware, always update the tape drive to the latest firmware, um, run your diagnostic tests, try your cleaning tapes, all the basic stuff. There we go, formatted completely and correctly, create mapping, preparing mount point, mounting volume, file system ready to use. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Remove mapping so I can eject the tape and format the next one. I think that's about it for this video. So uh, if this helped you, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell because the algorithm dictates how you live your life. Peace out.